and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth aka Foxgrove and I'm super happy that you're here today. We are going to be doing an island tour today and I'm so grateful to be touring my really good friend Cheyenne's island. Cheyenne is such a sweet person and she's actually recently started her own YouTube channel which I will link in the description box um, and I highly recommend that you check it out. Her designs are so beautiful and so inspiring. But before we get started with this tour, let's go ahead and check out Cheyenne's map. So here we have Cheyenne herself and then her villagers for tattooing are B, Coco, Callie, Sylvana, Goldie, Bunny, Pom Pom, Molly, Bones, and Tad. These villagers are so cute and when I say no terraforming, I mean no terraforming. Look at this map. It's actually so cool to see the map with just literally pathing only and a little bit of waterscaping. I, at least for me, when I hear no terraforming, I think of people like not ever using the terraforming, but leaving the existing terraforming on their island like it is when you first, you know, start the game. And in this case, she literally means there are no cliffs on this island, which is super, super cool. Um, and honestly, a really tricky concept as well. Um, Honestly, I don't know if I have the guts to try a no terraforming island, but I'm extremely excited to see what she has done with this island. So we're just going to collect these presents here really quickly and open these up. We have a little bubble, a bubble, bubble. <laughs> we have a little bubble blower here, which is super cute. A yellow balloon. And I'll just open these up really quick. Oh, we have some little sandals, some denim cutoffs. Oops, looks like I'm not wearing pants now. A tube top. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Cosmos crown. Oh, we have a little choice of a shirt here. Or the denim's painter pants. Oh, super cute. I really like the denim cutoffs. So we'll wear those. And I'll go with the tube top. How cute is this? Oh my goodness. Definitely fitting the vibes now. It was definitely not before in my sweater. But this is gorgeous. I love all the yellow and green tones right off the bat. Um, before I get too distracted here, I'll meet you guys over at the airport. All right, so here we are at the airport. She has an orange airport for Tatooine. And actually, I think this is the either second or third iteration of Tatooine. I know she's done a fairy core island um, and one other theme as well. And I'm just completely blanking, but this is a spring core theme. And oh my goodness, this entrance is stunning. I love the way that she's done the pathing here. And then the mushroom lamps here as well just add such a nice height to the area, um, especially because, you know, we don't have cliffs in order to add any height. So the lamps really do help that so much. We have like a little place to sit. I love the items that she's used. This little snail is so cute. And then we just have like this little notebook here and some books. This is adorable. And actually finding my way from resident services was so easy. I just had to come down here really quickly. I love the little mom's cushion here and all of these gorgeous cosmos flowers. This is stunning. Oh, we have a little sitting area here. This is so tucked away in all of these trees. I love how overgrown this area is. I am such a sucker for trees, literally obsessed. So this is so cute. I did want to come over here to the front of resident services because there is a gorgeous tulip garden. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. I love how she's put the little flower ring underneath the garden lanterns. Oh my goodness. I could just run through this all day. This is so beautiful. I 
I've never really seen anything quite like this for in front of resident services. Typically, I see a lot of terraforming around resident services, which is exactly what I did um, on my island as I just kind of terraformed behind. And I love this idea of just having this beautiful field right in front of resident services. And then we have a little place to sit over here and just enjoy the flowers. And like a little bike here is such a cute detail. If I lived near a flower area or a flower field, flower area, if I lived near a flower field like this, I would totally want to ride my bike there. And then to the left of resident services, we have this little post office. This is so cute. I love the packages and all of the scattered papers here and the old brick path. I think this is the same one that I'm currently using on Fox Grove and it looks perfect here at the post office. I actually have never seen that particular um, custom design that's on the simple panels, but I love how it looks like the letters are like spilling out of all of the compartments. That is super cute. The items that she's chosen in this area is perfect too. I like how she's used the jail bar here to kind of frame the area a little bit more from all of the trees. It's just beautiful. And then if we head down here, we have Sylvana's house. I love Sylvana's house. I'm such a sucker for these deep and dark green colors. Um, and this island is just beautiful. Oh my gosh. And look, we have Callie who also has such a beautiful green house. They look so, these houses look so good next to each other. And I just realized that we are at the peninsula. So Savannah's house is on the peninsula and then she has this little sitting area here. How gorgeous is this? Oh my goodness. This is so inspiring. I love all of the yellow and green flowers here and white flowers. Oh my gosh. I just want to hang out here. It is so cute. And then I like how she's kind of put the barrels behind the trees. It kind of just acts as sort of like a barrier to the beach behind it. And it really does add such a lovely backdrop um, for that spot, for that area. She's left the beaches very simple. We have a little sitting area here. I like how she's put the, um, the wood stakes along the beach as well. It's just a nice natural little detail here. And I've actually been seeing these kinds of picnic areas on the beach more and more lately where people are using the log bench um, and the cushions. And I think it looks so cute. I like how she's put the bears on the cushions as well. It's such a cute detail. And then we have these little Polaroids here. I just noticed that is an awesome custom design. Seriously, where would we be without custom designs? And then this is Callie's house. I like how she's put out this little yellow switch here. That's too cute. I really wish that I had the yellow switch light, like both in real life, but also in the game. It's so cute. I like how she's accented this area with the yellow bike. Um, and then this little like dolly kind of custom design here looks so beautiful. And then again, she's kind of tucked the um, barrels behind the trees and it really does um, sort of make this area feel cozy and cohesive. Um, and it seems like that is a really, really great strategy to get around to the fact that we don't have terraforming for the extra height. And I like how she has this chopped down tree here. That's something that I don't um, typically think to do, but whenever I see it, I just think it's so cute. So let's keep wandering behind the post office here. Oh, I see Able Sisters. We'll have to make our way over there. And then we have this little bakery here. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm just like taking it all in here. I love the custom designs that she's layered underneath this table. I like how they're both circular, but she's placed a square design in the center so that she can kind of make that sort of oblong shape. And that's a really good idea. I really struggle with layering custom designs. Um, and so that's a really inspiring little touch there. I might have to try that. And I like how she's incorporated the toaster over here as well. That's such a cute detail. Oh my goodness. And then we have this little sitting area here, just a little place to read by the bakery. That is a perfect little touch. I love this little mail custom design here as well. And we have so many lily of the valleys here on the beach. They are so pretty. And a little pumpkin patch on the beach as well. 
So I think I'll actually come back down here and we'll head over to Abel Sisters. We have another little picnic spot here and she has the coral switch. That is such a cute detail. I like how she uses the switch on, all, on her picnics. That's so cute. So then over here we have Abel Sisters. She does such an amazing job of sectioning off these areas. It's insane. Like how, <laughs> Cheyenne, how are you doing this? Abel Sisters is so cute. I'm getting ready to decorate Abel Sisters on Foxgrove right now and I was feeling super uninspired. Um, Abel Sisters is not my favorite building in the game and this is incredibly inspiring to see. I like how she's put out this little crafting set here. Um, and then this item here, I actually don't even know what it's called, the ironing board? Is it just called an ironing board? is a really cute little touch here and then she's created these little stalls little shopping area outside of Abel's a place to get some hats and accessories this is too cute we have like almost like a little farmer's market over here by Abel's sisters this is adorable I like how she stacked up the boxes here and I like how she's used the ones that have the fruit on them they just add such a nice little detail and then we have the fortune cookie cart, but it's turned around. Um, and it just kind of adds in a nice little detail here. This is so cute. Ooh, where are we going? Oh, so this just leads us back to where we were at resident services. Love the trees bounty art. And I love the way that she has put this custom design just underneath it. It's super cute. And then over here we have a bones. Oh my gosh, bones is so cute. He has the cutest house. I feel like I say that every time I see him on an island tour, um, but he's just so cute. And I like how she has all of the villager photos outside of their homes as well. I actually didn't know that you could put an item on this like little hay, like mini hay pile. I forget what that particular item is called. As always, I'm always forgetting what the items are called, um, but I didn't know you could set something on that. And this is such a great way of displaying a villager photo. I like how she's used the jail bars just behind the home and she has a little mush partition back there as well and it really does just frame the area it adds just an extra little texture a little detail behind the house um, and it really does work so well especially when you can't use terraforming and then bones has such a cute little picnic area here i like how she's incorporated the table lamp outside that's something that i've been a fan of all of a sudden I just think it's such a cute little detail. I honestly wasn't like a huge fan of that item when I first got the game and it's really, really grown on me. And then over here we have the campsite. Oh my goodness. This campsite is incredible. This is so cool. I love these little yellow sandals here. Oh my gosh. Oh, hi Sylvana. And this little laundry area. And we have a picnic spot. I like how she's used the yellow lantern here. And again, using the jail bars in the background, we have some mush partitions and lots and lots of beautiful trees. This little car detail is adorable as well. It's so cute. I like how she has also sprinkled some mushrooms, acorns, um, pine cones throughout the area lots of flowers lots of custom designs it's a great way to fill space while keeping things super super natural and beautiful this is absolutely gorgeous so i'm gonna actually wake my way back over to the left side of the island and just make sure that we're not missing anything so over here it looks like we have a little laundry area i like how she's used this antique table and the clock here that is so cute I don't think I've ever seen the clock in that particular color, but it looks really beautiful here. And then these layered um, clotheslines here are so, so nice. Another really great item to add some height if you're looking for that. And then we are at her house. I like how she's customized the hay bed to make it a little bit green. Looks really good with all of the color tones that she's using here. And this custom design with the bear outside of her house is too cute. Alright, so here we are at her house and it looks like she has blocked off the other rooms but I love the way that she's created this little reading nook here. Oh my gosh. 
I am such a bibliophile. I love reading. I have two big bookshelves in my house. Um, and honestly, I haven't been reading as much as I really should. I've been playing too much Animal Crossing instead. Um, but I would love to have this room in real life. Just a little nook with all of these books here. And then she has a little place for a cat to hang out. This is so perfect. Literally, I want to go here right now. This is adorable. I love the way that she has decorated the walls as well. And then we have a cozy little place to study by the fireplace here. Maybe do a little bit of writing. It's so beautiful and I love all of the plants. And of course incorporating a piano. This is so cute. I really can't get enough of this room. I think it's so beautiful. So let's head downstairs. Oh my gosh, this is so ethereal. I love the teddy bears in here and having that Nova light just casts such a beautiful glow in this room. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. What a simple room, but it's just so cozy. You can just kind of picnic under the stars with all of these bears. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, and then here we are at the upper level. We have such a cozy little bedroom here. I like all of the light wood and the white wood or the bleached wood um, customization of all of this wood furniture. This is so cozy. And I like how she has coordinated this um, little hat stand here to match the sofa. This is so cute. What a cozy little space this is. Seriously, I cannot even decorate to save my life, like, at all. I would seriously kill to have just an ounce of this decorating skill. I really like the star garland along that back wall as well. Decorating the walls is very difficult in the game, so I feel like we really don't have a ton of items to decorate with. So she did an awesome job with that. All right. So I do kind of want to wander and just see if I missed anything. Oh my goodness, look at all of those Lily of the Valleys on the beach. That's crazy. This is beautiful. I love this little bear custom design here. This is too cute. And this view of her house right here is gorgeous. It just looks so cozy and just tucked into the trees. And I just noticed that she's used the Cosmo shower going into the kettle bathtub. Oh my gosh, such a cute little detail. That's a really good idea. Oh, and I see we have a little farm area. Oh, that's so cute. I love the floral custom design that she's used on the sides and then she's used some stalls in order to just kind of make it seem like the, um, the roofing is just continuing. This is so cute. And the little pony ride-on toy is so perfect here. I also like how she sort of scattered the fruit around as well. This is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot even believe that this has no terraforming. Like, what? My mind, I just can't even wrap my mind around it. And then we have this little tea area tucked into all of these trees. It's so beautiful. She does such an amazing job of creating these absolutely picturesque landscapes. And I like how this, um, the particular time for this DA is set where the, some of the trees are a little bit more green than others. Um, and it just looks so beautiful here. And this island is surprisingly really, really easy to navigate. Usually I use terraforming as a way to kind of indicate which way you should go. Um, and I found that this has been really easy to navigate. So she did an amazing job there. And then we have this little overgrown farm area. I like the way that she's layered the dirt in game path with this sort of mossy grassy design. And then she sort of scattered some weeds and flowers and pumpkins all over the area. This is so perfect for Coco. Just a really overgrown but beautiful area. And I like that Coco kind of, it seems like Coco sort of like runs the farm, which is super cute. And then I love that duck over there on the rock. I am obsessed with the decoy ducks. I haven't been using them as much on my current island, but I'm still obsessed with them. I think they're so cute. Coco's house is perfection. This is so, so pretty. 
I like the way that she's used so many different kinds of fences on this island as well. And then this little path, this overgrown path, is going to take us to the secret beach, which she's left very simple. Just some little custom designs, a place to read. Super cozy. I like how she's lined this area with trees leading up to the secret beach. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. I seriously cannot even get enough of it. And then we have this little pond over here. I actually remember seeing a speed build of this area on her YouTube. Um, I love this little mini lake that she created with all of these adorable picnic spots. And I like the way that she's used the festival garland as well. Everything about her designs are just so warm and cozy. It just like, it's just such a feel good, you know, like you wander around, it just makes you feel good. And the lake is just surrounded by such adorable little picnic areas. I feel like I am the worst at creating picnic areas. So there's another little bit of inspiration that I'll be taking from this island. And then we have a villager that I'm actually not sure who this is. All right, so we are at Bunny's house right now. Bunny has such a cute little sitting area. And then she's used the fencing this time to kind of create a backdrop behind Bunny's house. And she has a little place to read, a place to eat here. This is so cute. And there is, oh, this is the side of the campsite. Oh, we have Bones wandering around. Hi, Bones. I have to say hi to him because he's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's pretty great for a massive land floating in the water. Oh my goodness. Your sarcasm bones. Oh my gosh. I just can't even get over this, guys. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And we have this little garden shed. I actually just used the same custom design in my most recent speed build. And I am obsessed with it. Look at how absolutely detailed this is. And it looks so perfect the way that she's decorated around it. I like how she's put the symbol panels um, behind the stall. It just looks so beautiful there. It really gives the illusion of like looking into a greenhouse. Um, it's so beautiful. And then I love that she's used this, um, this like shovel that also has yellow and green on it. We have a little gnome that also brings in the yellow and green tones. Oh my gosh, the items that she uses are just gorgeous. Even this lawnmower, I've been trying to find a way to use the lawnmower and I just can't get it to fit in a built and it just looks so cute here. I love that. Oops, which way am I going here? I am just, oh, getting stuck on things and going the wrong way. I need to get it together. All right, and then here we have the museum. Holy cow. This is stunning. Oh my goodness. I like the way that she has put these statue or like, wait, this is the turkey day table. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure, but I like the way that she has put the flowers. It's such a beautiful way to frame the museum. If I could talk, <laughs> like tripping over my words because it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, and I like the way that she has incorporated a little stump in here as well. It's such a cute little detail. I can't get over it. I will never get enough flowers. I just think they're so beautiful. And then if we wander over here, we have kind of like a little mini orchard it looks like. I like how she's incorporated the standees throughout this island as well. They really are an underrated item, I think, in terms of just like filling in a space and making it feel even more overgrown when there isn't enough space for an actual tree. And then we have the jail bars as well. We have a little um, well back there, which is a super cute, cute detail. And then more of these gorgeous fruit trees. This is so perfect. I cannot get enough of how many trees there are on this island. It's gorgeous. And then here we have a little place. Um, oh, is this like a little hat shop here? Oh no, they're pies. I was like seeing the hat, but it's a, a pie customization. That is so cute. So like a little market for fruit pies. So cute. Ooh, what is over here? Oh, it doesn't look like I can get there, but it looks like a flower field. I am so excited for that. 
And if we go through this arch, I love the trees mounty arch here. It's just so beautiful. I just, I'm so sorry that I keep saying everything is so beautiful, but it is absolutely stunning. And then we have Molly's house. And of course, Molly is going to have a cozy little reading nook. I adore Molly so much. I think she's so perfect. So adorable. And then we just have this little, oh my gosh, lavender farm. How beautiful. I was just talking about how I didn't want to use only lavender flowers um, because I felt like, I don't know, like I needed something else to break them up. And look at how she's done this. This is so beautiful with the greens and yellows. Wow. Absolutely stunning. And then a perfect place to have a painting area. And I like that she's chosen this particular um, yellow flower painting as well. It's so perfect. That area is absolutely gorgeous. And it spits us out on the other side at Goldie's house. And then it looks like we also have, is this B? I think this is B. Definitely B. So we have Goldie and B's house and they just have a cozy little sitting area. I love the little decoy duck. More decoy ducks <laughs> and lots and lots of flowers. This picnic area is super cute over here. I love the little shoe detail. I need to remember to use shoes and hats more in my picnic spots because they really do add such a cute little detail. And then here is B in this gorgeous little plant shop over here. Oh my gosh, I love the custom design that's on this stall. The lights look really good. They look very realistic, I think. This is so cute. I like how she's incorporated the weeds here as well. That's such a good idea. And this is actually right next to the entrance. Oh my gosh, does this mean that we're done with the tour? No, I don't want to be done. But I had to come over to this gorgeous lavender field to say goodbye today because I just think it's so beautiful. If you made it this far into the video, please do remember to go and check out Cheyenne's YouTube channel as well as her Instagram and give her some love for this gorgeous island. If you enjoy Animal Crossing content like this and you'd like to see more, please do be sure to like and subscribe to my channel to support me. I appreciate you all so, so much. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!